Okay guys, so first I'm gonna start off by applying a primer. So I always use a primer on my foundations. Most of the time I use one that is mattifying or smoothing or something along that line unless I'm going for a more dewy look. So today I'm gonna be using the Makeup uh, Forever Professional Step 1 Skin Equalizer and this is the, um, the smoothing primer. So I absolutely love this. I definitely need to get around to trying the mattifying one but I absolutely love the way this one does because it does smooth the skin as well as leaves me with the matte finish. So I really like to focus this primer first on the areas that I have the most problem with my oiliness and where my pores are just simply because um, I want it to look smooth and I also want it to be matte and um, these are the areas that get oily the quickest so I just want to really make sure I get those areas first before I move on to the rest of my face. to applying the foundation so I have this makeup forever foundation in ultra HD so this came out like a while ago but I never got a chance to do an individual video on it um, most of the foundations I will be featuring on my channel I have I bought them probably a while ago but I haven't got a chance to feature them I'll try to get some new foundations as well to throw in there for this uh, you know to show you guys foundations but anyways I have it in the color R540 and this is what it looks like so I initially thought that this was too dark but it's actually a really really good match especially when I add my under eye concealer aka my highlighting um, under eyes to brighten up underneath the eyes and you know set it everything it works out really really well but yeah let's go ahead and apply it to have my face so you guys can see how the color matches is appearing a little bit dark or kind of a lot of bit dark but I really feel comfortable with it just simply because number one I did get a little darker this summer and then number two because I know it's gonna even out and balance out after I add everything else so looks pretty good to me okay so this is how the foundation looks on this half of my face there is no foundation on this half and I have the foundation on the back of my hand so this is what it looks like. I think that it's a really good color match even though it's a tad bit darker and it does look a little bit too red for me. Once it like really sinks into my skin, I feel like it's going to look right. I have worn this foundation before and after I add everything, everything comes together and it looks right. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the foundation to the rest of my face. I just wanted to make sure that I let you guys see how the foundation looks on half of my face. So you can see the color match and like I said before it is a tad bit darker and it might seem a little bit too warm or reddish but it all comes together like it matches really good. Okay so this is what the foundation looks like all over my face so it does look like tremendously darker than my neck area. My outer perimeter of my body is way darker like it's actually this color but the middle portion of my body is actually like a lot lighter. So like I was saying before, I will make everything come together. I just wanted to show you guys how it looks on my skin. So one thing I like is that it does give me a matte finish, but it does still look like it's like a healthy, a healthy, healthy, youthful type of look. So this is how the foundation looks. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back to tell you guys my final thoughts about this foundation okay divas so now i want to go ahead and tell you guys how i feel about this foundation so number one i absolutely love it it's really really nice i also wanted to apologize in case you guys can hear the fan in the background like i am so sorry it's just so hot here in la like i don't know what california is thinking like really la never really gets as hot sorry for everybody but anywho so I really really like this foundation and I think that it's really really nice especially for those of us who have oily skin. Um, it does dry down to like a matte finish which I really really like or I don't know if that has to do anything with the primer but in my personal opinion it does dry down to a matte finish and I really really like it. If you see me doing, looking glowy it's because I have on highlighter so don't let that you know disturb what I'm saying about the foundation. So yeah this foundation is really really nice i do like it it's very lightweight however it is full cover so you can you do have to be careful um with this foundation because if you apply too much you are going to look like cake face 
my personal opinion, there's nothing wrong with cake face. But if you are just not that girl that likes that heavy type of foundation, like you might want to apply a little bit of this if you are going to go ahead and get it. But I have no complaints about it. Um, I really, really love this shade. As you guys can see, like after I've applied my highlighting concealer and set everything, excuse me everything it looks really really nice and it does blend better with my skin tone at first I know it did look probably kind of like muddy and just dark and just terrible but like I said before after I put on everything like it all comes together and I absolutely love this shade I probably could have went the shade lighter but I always feel better using the shade that is one shade darker rather than lighter because I feel like I would look like Casper if I would have went with the shade before this but um yeah i have no complaints about this foundation i would definitely recommend it um they do have a large variety of shades so you will be able to find your shade no matter what shade you are like from the lightest of the light to the deepest of the dark i feel like you'll be able to um find your shade and i do really really like this foundation i cannot compare it to the foundation that came out before this because one of my subbies did ask me to compare it i did not purchase that um foundation before because there were so many mixed reviews and I just was like I'm just not gonna go through it you know it was just so many mixed reviews on YouTube and I was just like well you know I'll just wait and I waited and this one came out and I love it and yeah so I don't know how it compares to the other foundation but I would definitely recommend this one and um yeah I don't have anything bad to say about it um if I did leave anything out then go ahead and leave it in the comment section below but yeah divas that is how I feel about this makeup forever ultra hd foundation i hope that you guys have found this tutorial or this demo excuse me very easy to follow i hope you guys found it helpful if you did then go ahead and give me a thumbs up be sure to go ahead and leave me a comment down below whether about it's about this foundation or whatever it's about i would love to communicate with you lovely divas and be sure to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already so you will not miss any more videos from me but yeah divas thank you guys so so much for watching i greatly appreciate it and i will see you lovely divas in my next video bye divas